Happy Saturday, my duelist friends. I'm hoping that we're starting off this weekend well. Today, I wanted to do a bit of a tech analysis. I wanted to do it on the Subterra Guru. Now, again, we did do a Subterra build this week. Um, we did it with the Master Duel format, uh, which does not differ very much from my real world counterpart. The real difference is, is, uh, are, is my extra deck full of uh, decent links? Or am I using super poly with a bunch of super poly targets? What's the deal? Uh, for the most part, it's the same build. Now, this guy is really the linchpin for the whole deck. Uh, and I was really happy to get these uh, ultra rares from my real world collection. Uh, which is crazy because he's ultra rare in the master duel. Um, normally, this would be the part where I would like pull my phone out and show you guys the prices. My phone is currently dead right now, so we're just going to skip past it. And let you know that really, the three or four variants of him are all super affordable. No copies over $5 right now um, at the time of filming this. Unless something really crazy happened since I turned on the camera. Um, and I doubt that that's true. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed me playing around with this guy a little bit. But I really want to break him down. I really want to say why he's so useful. And why this guy's really a beast. Because again, you guys kind of got to see a little bit of it. In the play, but I only get to play like two of the matches I wanted to play. Uh, I did want to go for a third. I actually have a third. One that took me about an hour to play. And uh, if you guys want, vote down there. If you guys want, I'll either do that one like maybe later today or something. Or uh, down the road, what we'll do is uh, I can make like a, almost like a medley we'll review some of my better duels uh, after I get a few more in. But the reason we use this card, a four-star dragon flip, 16 by 18, which is really cool. The effect here is when you flip summon this card, or you just flip this, uh, you add one subterra card from the deck to the hand. Could be a spell, could be a trap, could be a monster. Generally, guys, you saw, it's usually Fiendus. If I'm in a good position, it's Uma Strix. And uh, if I started with those both, then I'm going to go after my final battle. It is just a great thing. And again, we can get this immediately off of our field spell. So like that's a whole thing. Um, additional, you can target one face-up uh, monster outside of this. Change that and this card both to face-down defense. This effect becomes quick effect if you control another sub terror card. Each effect is once per turn. So guys, real quick. What does that mean? You guys saw me do this. Um, I had Guru and Umastrix, or I, it was maybe double Guru, and I was able to quick effect. Uh, no, you didn't see that. That was the duel I didn't show you guys um, yet. But I did have a setup. I had uh, two Gurus, and I had Umastrix. I hadn't activated my There Can Be Only One yet, playing up against Blue Eyes build of some sort. And um, the opponent does go to try to attack me. Um, I was able, since I had two face-ups, they were both sub terrors. I was able to book this as well as the opponent monster real quick. And then this also set me up with the hidden city to be able to negate another attack, which is good. Um, very tactical sound plays. Moving a couple of the tins from this uh, box opening this week uh, because they were getting ready to fall down, kind of bump the table. Um, back to this. Uh, so again, it allowed me to get a bunch of interplay. Realistically, I was blocking like two attacks a turn, and then uh, there was another bit. Uh, he did run it with a blue eyes, activated my uh, trap from the back. Since the trap's effect could alter stats, you can activate it during the damage step. So uh, I was able to wait, hold off to the last second. He thought he had the win, flip it, blast his monster, beat the blue eyes by exactly 400. Um, and again, just a whole bunch of plays. Uh, again, this allows us to get the in deck, uh, tra the hand trap, Fiendus. Fiendus lets us reset the Guru. Guru is searchable off the field spell. Uh, my big move was like uh, terraforming for field spell, field spell for Guru. Set Guru, field spell effect, flip Guru. Uh, add Fiendus, end turn, opponent goes to do something, whatever. Fiendus, Guru back down. And then if they go ahead and they attack, you could use uh, Field Spell, Flip Guru, Block Attack, then pick up cards, so add another Fiendus to your hand, whatever. Continue playing through. 
And again, it's all assuming that you only had terraforming. So again, good card, great deck, really enjoyed it. Um, that's enough of this. I want to talk to you guys about what's going to start happening every day. Uh, so every day, leading up to or until I run out of decks to build, we will, due to the request slash challenge of Zaymont, do three times structure builds from the Battle City and GX boxes, respectively, um, because they they bought some, they bought a couple of the boxes, they bought like three of the boxes, and as a group, Zaymont and friends are basically going to be building the structure decks uh, in order to play it as sort of a draft uh, roll of the dice to see which deck you get kind of board game tournament. And I'm totally down with that. And the first one is going to be a Dark Magician build using the Magician's Act skill card. Uh, because again, where I'm getting my information is going to be the YGOrganization.com. Again, they have the lists for the decks. They did not tell me which skill went to which one. It's been a while I threw out all my material. Um, I was kind of lazy on my web search, not going to lie to you. Um, so I'm just going to use common sense, put the right skills together with it, and we're going to build this for them and everybody else who enjoys it. So I hope that you guys enjoy an extra video every day, um, and including tomorrow. Uh, it's going to take over. I'm going to do two of the decks, and then we're going to use one card from those to do the spotlight. But this way we can burn through some of these decks faster. Um and use speed duel cards and just talk about how good the game is. So hopefully you guys enjoy this stuff. I'm enjoying doing it. Let's see you guys again tomorrow. Do all of the things. Don't do all of the things. Do the one thing. Do the one thing, which is have a wonderful day. Go out and do something for yourself. I hope to see you guys again later today. And of course, you know, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. Basically, if the day ends in Y, I'd like to see you there. See you later, my friends.